So a fractal is an object that displays infinite self-similarity. Any kind of object, a drawing or a 3D thing, that displays self-similarity at all scales. And that self-similarity means that no matter how much you zoom in, you're supposed to see the same shapes over and over and over again. So the thing is going to contain smaller copies of itself. Here's an example. This thing is actually called a Sierpinski Triangle. And I hope that you can see that there's this overall theme of like three triangular-ish things in a pyramid configuration. And so you have one giant pyramid of three things. And then each of those three things is like a pyramid of three things. And each of those things is made up of three things that's a pyramid of three things. And so no matter how much you zoom in, you're going to see that same thing, a pyramid of three triangular things. In the real world, there are objects in our lives that have fractally type properties, even though they're not exactly fractals. So if you think about what a giant head of broccoli looks like, you've got all these different florets that are all connected by a giant icky stem that no one likes to eat. So then a big bunch of broccoli might be made up of a bunch of smaller bunches of broccoli, which you could then slice off the crowns and you would have even smaller bunches of broccoli. Now I said that this wasn't a perfect fractal because obviously I think if you subdivided enough you would be down to just one of those little tiny green buds. So it doesn't go infinitely far. But it's got some properties of fractalishness. Here's a fractal from the textbook. It's kind of simplistic. It's a duck and a duck and a duck and a duck. No matter how much you zoomed in you would see a duck holding a duck. And so this does display properties of a fractal. Here are some fern pictures that are generated by computer. And so each of these three things is a fractal. And if you can see how you have this overall shape here, this overall curvy, curvy, curvy shape. And then each of these little fronds actually has the same overall shape. And here's the trippy thing. If you look at those, each of these little bits is made out of the same shape. And if we had really good resolution, we could zoom in again and see that each of those had the same shape. And so you can actually use the fractal making process to make some pretty cool looking art. Here are some famous fractals that we teach in a complex math class. They're called Julia sets. And they're actually made from a disc in a really fascinating process that you fold over and over and over again until it makes this frilly shape. But here, we're just going to be looking for repeated themes. And so I kind of see what I think of as like wave shapes. And so I can see that this thing looks like two big wave shapes, but then maybe over here there's like a wave shape. And over here I kind of see that same repeated wave shape, and there's even a smaller one right there. If I were able to zoom in on this, I would see even more wave shapes. If you zoom in in the valleys here, there are going to be even more of those wave shapes. There's infinitely many of them, and they're all different sizes. Here's another one where there's kind of like floopy blobs all over the place in different sizes. I don't know, or like, looks like messed up Mickey Mouse ears. We have a big one over here, and then there's a little one right here, and this one is an even tinier one, and these that you can't quite see, if we were allowed to zoom in, we would see that those look like messed up Mickey Mouse ears too. Here's another one where I think you can see that there's this like, I don't know, slightly triangular-ish blobs of all different sizes all over the place. Here's another one made up of ovals. Here's another one where there's kind of like this pointy thing here, where you can see that this pointy thing is repeated in several other locations at different scales. And even then, although the resolution is poor, there are two little bits, like the little horns coming out of the side of the pointy bits. Those are actually the same shape as the original pointy bit. And so this is another infinitely detailed shape. 